just want to do a short video on showing you all how to make a bone needle. Uh, when you cut the piece off the bone to make your knife blade, it you still have some scrap pieces off the leg bone, and you can use those scrap pieces to make uh, some bone awls and some bone needles. Uh, don't waste them; that way, they're I mean they're still good good pieces, and you can uh, use them to make some really nice uh, stuff. I'll show you a few of the awls and uh, needles that I've made, and then we'll go ahead and uh, start working on a piece. Here's a few of the uh, bone awls I've made. The majority of these are out of elk. There's a few uh, white tail, but got a few shorter, shorter ones. I've got one that's set in a piece of deer antler. Uh, it's got a nice little little design. I like to put a little design on them. On some of them, some of them are plain. You see this one? It's just got a couple of lines that go all the way around it. Uh, this one kind of has a swirl or barber pole type design on it. I've got a hole in the end of it. Uh, another one with just a, a few lines all the way around it and then I've got some that are staggered. Uh, another one that's just got a, some hash marks kind of on the top. But all just so you can design them however you want. I've got one here that I uh, haven't uh, finished it yet, but kind of want to do more uh, kind of a comb top. I've seen some artifacts that they've cut in some grooves and actually made a like a short comb. But we'll work on that later. But those are just some of the some of the awls. Uh, what we're gonna work on it for this video is some needles, bone needles and uh, kind of like the way that these come out some of these are are really small I spent quite a bit of time thinking about these when I first started making them thinking that the the hole was drilled in maybe with a bone uh, a piece of flint but found out that uh, you can cut them in either with a flint or a knife and you can get a real nice uh, eye hole in it but uh, what we're going to do for for this video uh, you can the old way was you'd break them cut them actually I've got some leg bones here that uh, uh, the mocha ghost of Jim has sent me and you can just use a just a piece of flint got a good sharp edge on it and you can score it down the side take the ends off you can get you a piece of bone and then just if you've got a flat piece of sandstone granite uh, anytime whatever your rock you have if it's pretty flat you can just take that and start rubbing it back and forth and polishing the bone up and get it down to the the size you have or you need uh, there's been quite you can find quite a few pictures of artifacts a lot of them are just basically like this there's no there's not any design on them but it's a long narrow piece of bone and used it as an awl or as a pin so we're gonna go ahead and for this video we'll use the bandsaw to cut the, the main leg bone up into a small enough piece to use and then we use the belt grinder to start shaping it and get in the shape of the pin that we need. I'll probably fast forward again like normal because I use the wet dry vac to collect some of the dust so it's not as dusty in here. When you look down this, of course with an elk leg, moose leg, or something larger, you're going to have more material to work with. White-tailed deer, it's a, the bone's a little thinner, and so what you're looking for, figuring out the length of your needle, you can see there's a curve, curvature of the, of the leg bone itself. And so we're, what we're wanting to do is figure out if we can get 
and maybe from say right in here to maybe right in here it looks pretty good and then right towards the end it kind of curves up so what we'll do is we'll start with this whole piece and I'll start sanding it and just work our way down and try and get it start getting it straight once we get it straight then we can start thinning it down to the thinness that we want so we'll move over to the belt sander now There's our, there's our needle. Uh, nothing. They don't have to be perfectly round. They don't have to be perfectly straight. Uh, the artifacts that were found, you can see, there's a little bit of a, little bit of a curve to that, but that'll work fine. See, we got that one pretty, pretty thin. That's a good, good needle. Uh, what we'll do now is. Uh, We're going to take, like normal, we'll take a little of the 180 or just some, some fine sandpaper and we'll sand it and then we'll take a little uh, steel wool and uh, it'll polish it up to a nice, nice buff. So we'll do a little, little sanding. There we've got it sanded real nice. Now we'll take the steel wool and we'll buff, buff it up and it'll make a nice polish on it. Okay, there, there it is. It's polished to pretty good shine. This is a li little bit long for a needle, but that'll work. Uh, I think even the primitive ones as they broke the end off as they were pulling pulling it through something they just move down and put another hole in it and and keep working so at this point we'll move over and we'll start uh, making the eye hole in the end of the needle got the wind blowing out here a little bit so hopefully you can hear this the way that I do this I use uh, just a sharp uh, I'm not sure with the exact one knife I guess no, I'm using just the blade but the way I do this is basically you just start cutting cutting the V one way and then cut the V back the other way. And once you kind of get it in just a little bit, put a roller 180 degrees and start the other side. And as you work back and forth, eventually you meet in the middle and then you can kind of open up uh, a rectangle area for the sinew or uh, rope fiber that you're going to use. So we'll go ahead and start. Finally, I don't know if that's show up, but we finally got a little hole through there. And now what we'll do is not push it too hard. We're going to try and just clean that up just a little bit and clean up the outside of it. And uh, we're going to call that done. 
pieces you do. It's not very thick, so you don't need a very thick hole to put in the needle. So we're going to tighten this up a little bit. There it is. There's the there's the eye hole. It's been uh, cleaned out. It's kind of a rectangular shape when you when you cut it out with a, a, a little exacto knife or a piece of flint. Actually, you uh, work with a piece of flint too. Uh, it comes out kind of a rectangular a rectangular shape like that, which works perfect. So, but there's the there's the finished the finished needle.